Hi, this is Gully Gofark. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to be talking about nat natural methods to fight herpes simplex viral infection. Now, viral infections like herpes can be a significant health concern. Once the herpes simplex virus infects you, it stays in your body for life, hibernating in nerve cells never to go away. Now, ever so often, the virus awakens, reigniting infection, causing cold sores or genital lesions to occur again. And its ability to go in and out of a hiding is, is, is the key to its survival by ensuring its spread from one host to the next every time it reawakens. Now, by hibernating in nerve cells, the virus remains completely out of reach of the immune system. And then when it comes out of hibernation, the infection recurs and it can affect other people. Now the herpes simplex virus lives in over two thirds of the population worldwide. Herpes simplex one virus is responsible for cold sores and herpes simplex two is the strain responsible for genital herpes. Preventing infection is by avoiding sex and kissing during an outbreak and using condoms while the virus is dormant. Uh, the way to prevent the recurrence of the illness in a person that already is infected and the virus is hibernating in their nerve cells and then suddenly they have a recurrence, um, uh, then this can be supported by supplements and specific foods that I will mention in this video. So let's begin. Number one, garlic. In a study on the potential antiviral activities of garlic, researchers recognized the disease-preventing effects of garlic in viral infections, including herpes simplex. Antiviral and anti-inflammatory um, chemicals in garlic have been observed to hinder viral attachment to proteins that cause the infection in the first place and to proteins involved in their reawakening, their sleep-wake um, periods. Now, beyond adding more fresh garlic to your diet, you can also make a garlic solution to apply it to the um, cold sores directly. You can mix a crushed garlic clove with um, olive oil and apply the mixture to the sore, uh, to the cold sore about three times a day. Or if you're brave enough, you can also slice the garlic clove in half and then place the half directly on the cold sore. And by the following day, this may be painful, but by the following day, often the cold sore will be completely gone. You can, especially if you do it in the first stages of the, the infection of the cold sore. Now you can also take garlic supplements to support your immunity against viral infections and relapses on a regular basis, about three times a week, regularly, if you desire to do so, if you don't get enough garlic in your diet. Now also vitamin D. Research shows that herpes infections are more likely to occur in people with vitamin D deficiencies. Increase vitamin D intake by getting sufficient sunlight um, um, during the summer months, get your UVB rays on your skin and then this will ensure you have enough vitamin D uh, during winter months or if you live way up north or way down south then you want to take supplements or even eat foods that are rich in vitamin D, such as um, mushrooms that are exposed to uh, UVB rays, um, or fortified foods like soy milk and some oatmeals. Also oily fish, but I do recommend checking where these fish uh, came from, of course, to make sure that they don't have all sorts of toxins in their bodies. Um, according to research that involved 10 studies, vitamin D supplementation, has helped decrease herpes and protect against other viral infections as well. Now, the next uh, supplement is zinc salts. Zinc is an essential mineral. It's necessary for the activity and structural integrity of over 300 enzymes in our body. Zinc sulfate is an inorganic salt uh, that when it dissolves in water, it produces zinc ions. Zinc ions uh, stabilize uh, the fold in a zinc finger. It's uh, the, Since the herpes simplex virus must come out of hibernation to infect others, a zinc finger protein can prevent this. Therefore, zinc supplementation can be very helpful. In one study, uh, about 90% of the subjects who receive treatment with zinc experience crusting of lesions on their uh, the cold sore lesions um, within two days versus seven days for people receiving treatment without zinc. 
and they had full healing in about nine and a half days compared to 16 days for people who uh, received treatment without zinc. So it can be very, very beneficial. Another study, zinc sulfate. Um, so tampons tested it uh, for their ability to re reduce the recurrence of genital herpes simplex viral infections uh, in, in uh, 10 women. Uh, although this is a very small study, uh, recurrences occurred only um, in three subjects within six months um, out of all the people that were participating, the 10 people. So this trial is small, but uh, there was, and also there was no placebo. So, but it was found to be helpful. Other studies show that there is not much benefit in zinc supplementation. However, uh, zinc salt supplementation is non-toxic and I recommend supplementing with these salts to prevent transmission of any infectious agents that have the potential to be inactivated by the, the zinc, the presence of zinc. Now, which is most viral infections. Now, I do recommend taking about 25 milligrams of zinc sulfate, um, especially when you're when you're feeling a little bit down, you feel like you have a viral infection, this is the time to take it um, regularly. Also, pomegranate rind extract has been used as a home remedy for viral infections for centuries due to its high zinc content. And it also has other components that make it very um, useful. Researchers studied this uh, uh, extract specifically to identify its antimicrobial and antimicrobicidal activity against the herpes simplex virus. And the studies um, involved the rind of the pomegranate as a topical treatment on cold sores. Um, they peeled the fresh uh, pomegranate, they blended it together um, with the rinds and boiled it for uh, boiled it for about 10 minutes and then um, applied it to the cold sore and they found it to be a very potent um, treatment for herpes uh, simplex viral infections especially cold sores you can also use this liquid for treating genital herpes with a tampon soaked in the liquid as well now let's talk about lysine supplements Lysine is an essential amino acid that the body does not produce naturally and therefore must be introduced into your diet through foods or supplementation. Research suggests that lysine can help slow the growth of herpes simplex virus. It absorbs arginine, which causes the virus to grow and reproduce, so therefore it blocks its growth and reproduction. A study reviewing the outcome of introducing oral L-lysine supplements found that lysine supplementation appears to be uh, very effective in treating um, herpes lesions. Some foods rich in lysine include soya beans, pistachio and pumpkin seeds, spirulina and fenugreek seeds. I recommend regularly supplementing with 500 to 1000 milligrams of L-lysine when you're under a lot of stress or when you're infected with a virus. I personally took it when I was infected with COVID-19 and really it just passed. I didn't even feel that I had the, uh, um, that I had the virus. Now, a supplementation of L-lysine has been found to improve patients with herpes simplex, both one and two uh, viruses. But the results uh, at times were inconclusive in some of the studies. Now, to boost immune function, also the most important thing is a healthy diet that increases immunity and promotes healthy organ function. This is the best way to fight viral infections. A healthy functioning immune system is also vital in recognizing and destroying pathogens once they're introduced inside your body. Uh, to ensure immune function, I recommend a diet rich in antioxidants and micronutrients and fiber to support digestive health and a healthy gut microbiome and nutritional supplementation. Um, I will add at the bottom of this video um, four different videos, links to four different videos of mine that can help you promote your gut health by improving your microbiome. Uh, your lymph health as well, and your immune fu function, and as well as how to overcome viruses in general, how to support your body in overcoming viruses in general, in general. I will place a link to these videos at the bottom of this video. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content, natural healing, anything to do with nutrition and um, diet and how it can support you through many different um, diseases, disorders, illnesses. 
And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com to help move your health and wellness to a better place, both mental health, physical health, weight loss, really anything to move your weight and to give you the health that you deserve and desire. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you.